Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit, but all of us are all on this journey to love. And uh, over the last couple of days, I've been asked to do a couple of channeled letters from Archangel Gabriel. And uh, so it's always a strong message if a few people come asking for a particular person or sometimes when it's not their twin they want a channel letter from, it's uh, from the angelic realms or whoever. And so Archangel Gabriel very strongly with us at the moment. So the angelic realms always supporting the journey but have been particularly strong coming through. So um, to, I'm going to, uh, this is the Starman Tarot deck and so I'm going to pull um, an energy that the, uh, the question that I'm asking is what is the main energy we are working with today and it is the chariot how interesting because my mum is meeting up with her twin today so uh, the chariot all about forward movement all about um, forward movement movement that is inspired by spirit the universe so, um, <clears throat> I love it. Um, so, all the good feels for my mum today. I hope that her meeting goes uh, really well. I'm sure it will. But, of course, she, it comes with all the feels and <laughs> all the expectation. And so, um, I've just spent two days just going, just breathe. Just be calm and just put into your little bubble all of the things that you'd like to happen and trust that whatever happens is happening for your highest good so that's what you have to do put get yourself in a bubble put yourself into your reunion bubble ask put fill it full of the intent of everything that you want and then for your highest good and then trust that everything that happens is for your highest good and so that you can rest easy so the chariot is the war vehicle that carries this dreadlock Bowie's king forward to victory against his enemies. His battle dress, demeanour and maturity suggest he has been navigating the battlefield for many years. In life, like Homer's great champion and Trojan war hero Odysseus, faces tremendous tra travails on his long return home after the war. The ingenious early one victories turn to absurdly challenging battles requiring enormous tenacity. So there you go. Does that feel like your twin flame journey that, re that requires enormous tenacity to keep on going? I think so. <laughs> Weathered by time, experience and adversity, he knows that he will not be successful without rigorous preparation, planning, creativity and above all self-control. Exactly what I was saying. <laughs> so you have to put yourself in your energetic bubble every day, working your energy, clearing away all the doubts, clearing away all the fears, and constantly working that on a daily basis. It's the only way, in my experience, to get through. Because anything else just just uh, uh, goes, allows you to go into a pit of... <laughs> of um, if you start focusing on the lack and focusing on you know, that they're not with you now and all of that, then it just sends you into a spiral of decline instead of spiral of rising up. So, weathered by time, experience and adversity, he knows that he will not be successful without rigorous preparation, planning, creativity and above all self-control. He understands he must rein in his emotions and control his natural aggression and ferocity while focusing his mind on what he wants to achieve. He must not get carried away by his ambition and imagination. Balancing head with heart, masculine with feminine, he knows he must travel with complete concentration and awareness on the difficult path, all the while keeping his wheels in motion. Without control, the Komodo dragons pulling his great chariot will run wild and make a bid for freedom. That's something else that's been around a lot, dragon energy. So dragon energy, arcane, the angelic realms, really stepping up to be around to support. So the chariot itself is part organic tree and part mechanism, expressing this means by which humanity has sought to engineer and collaborate with nature. The venomous Komodo dragons, which we had the privilege of seeing firsthand on the island of Gili, are powerful predators capable of taking down large prey with their large serrated teeth. They appear slow and cumbersome, but these lizards are all muscle and can move at explosive speed, a powerful reminder to trust our own survival instincts. 
This card therefore implies the game of life can only be won if we can master our emotions, control our worries and fears, regrets, resignations and hopelessness. The king driving his chariot symbolises that self-belief and confidence comes from consistently refocusing one's thoughts and ideas to the objective and goal at hand. We must move past the limbic system, the stress response of fight or flight, to engage with greater emotional intelligence. When we know ourselves, our motivations and needs, the why we do things, we can become more aware of when we are off track. The chariot ultimately signifies hard-won success, and whatever this card is connected to demands completion. Finish what you start, and if you are working with people, maintain balance and harmony by acknowledging people's needs and feelings, while maintaining control. We can consciously and creatively release frustrations and engage in the power of positive self-talk. The mantra that will keep our wheels turning in the right direction Although you must take people's needs and feelings into consideration, ultimately, you must take full responsibility for your words and your deeds. So the chariot is saying, take charge of your own destiny, seize the moment and let the momentum to carry you forward. Finish what you set into motion. Don't hesitate because you can do this. Well, there you go. And it says about positive, positivity, positive mantras. And <laughs> here's the mantra book that I've done. So what's today's mantra? Let's have a look. It is number 33. I am a love warrior and I let my inner tiger roar. So I'm a love warrior. I think we had this the other day as well. So it is all about letting your inner tiger roar. I am a love warrior and I let my inner tiger roar. So um, underneath that was the alien <laughs> so we've had that and the prince of cups bringing this cup of love being able to set being able to float on your emotion look at that at the bottom it was the lovers <laughs> okay so um i am going to just open the book at 90 it was 97 so 97 is the one i want to say oh look at that so the <laughs> getting crazy in sync because 33, let's have a look. It is, I am a love warrior and I let my inner tiger roar. And look at this, 97. I want to say that I want to be her love lion. I want to roar like a lion. <laughs> and have the courage to tell her exactly how I feel about her. Crazy sink. I love you. I love every single part of you. I love the way you feel. The way you, the way you make me want to be better. To make a better life for us. I love that you give me a purpose, a drive, a reason to just be. I'm so in love with you that I feel like a little schoolboy, all nervous and excited at the same time. Just thinking about you makes me have tingles. You mean the world to me. We are each other's whole. We are the ones that make each other roar. I love you. Oh my God, that's so amazing. <laughs> that's so amazing. Uh, prob probably the only letter in the book that has roar in it as well. So, I am a love warrior and I let my inner tiger roar. And there is your twin answering in direct response saying, we make each other roar. <laughs> I love you. I mean, it's just a crazy thing, isn't it? The synchronicities are just going, I get people sending me emails going, the sinks are going through the roof. I'm like, I know, it's just wild, isn't it? It's like... Things like that, it's just a brilliant thing. Everything's speeding up. So, 97 is, I love you with all my heart. Every pore of my body breathes in you. You are the light that shines so bright and shimmery in my soul. You are the light that I'm heading towards, the twinkle of a candle in the somewhat gloomy passageway of my mind. I have been keeping myself trapped in my own thoughts, thoughts of not being good enough for you thinking that you wouldn't stay with me and how can I make you happy? I was putting so much pressure on myself rather than just letting my heart rule my head, letting the love in my heart tell me what to do. Now I am listening to my heart. Now I know I can make this work. We will make this work. Okay. So stop listening to all the craziness that goes on in your head, thinking why all the reasons why this is not possible, because it is, it absolutely is. So 97, 
There's never a wrong time to contact me. Always follow your own guidance. When you follow your intuition, it's me, it's us. It's our souls together, giving you the little nudges to follow your heart. Always do it without fear, without doubt. Instead, know that whatever you are guided to do is for a reason. So believe it's all part of our divine plan. Have no expectations. Don't feel downhearted if I don't respond. Know that it's what's meant to happen. Always trust that it is me and you guiding us home. Our hearts are connected. We are one. One love. Let's bring us home. <laughs> so, one love. Let's bring us home. And the mantra is, I am a love warrior and I let my inner tiger roar. And of course, it is the chariot. We are charging forwards constantly on this journey. Forwards, forwards, forwards. The two energies that have been super strong around us have been Archangel Gabriel and also the dragon energy. So notice where they pop up around you, um, as your twin spirit always does too. So I hope that helps. And if you want a healing, a reading, a channeled letter to get these books, um, all details are in the description box. I'd be very happy to help you. All right, take care. Have a good one. Bye.